while I take a moment to prepare my space and my mind for tonight's tarot reading, let me introduce you to Area 51. Area 51 is in the middle of a secluded area of Nevada's desert, approximately about 120 miles to the northwest of Las Vegas. You can find Area 51 or at least a dirt road leading to Area 51 along Nevada's extraterrestrial highway. According to Wikipedia, it says that Area 51 is the common name of a highly classified United States Air Force facility within the Nevada Test and Training Range, a remote detachment administered by Edwards Air Force Base. The facility is officially called Homey Airport or Groom Lake. Details of its operation are not made public, but the USAF says that it is an open training range and it is commonly thought to support the development and testing of experimental aircraft and weapons systems. According to this article I found on nationalgeographic.com, it states that aliens and UFOs became a part of Area 51's lore in 1989. The article states that Area 51 became forever associated with aliens in 1989 after a man claiming to have worked there, Robert Lazar, gave an interview with the Las Vegas news station. Lazar claimed that Area 51 housed and studied alien spacecraft and that his job was to recreate the technology for military use. It goes on to state that, however, Lazar's credentials were soon discredited, and according to school records, Lazar never went to Massachusetts Institute of Technology or California Institute of Technology, as he claimed. At the time, though, engineers at Area 51 were studying and recruiting advanced aircraft, just aircraft acquired from other countries, not from outer space. The government formally acknowledged the existence of Area 51 for the first time in 2013, when the CIA declassified documents about the development of the U-2 and the A-12 aircraft. So previously, locals knew something odd was happening in the desert, but the details were very scarce and hard to verify. It does state that Area 51 is still an active base, but the purpose it has served since the 1970s is still a top secret mystery. So to begin this reading, I'm going to shuffle the Rider Waite deck and draw three cards just to start. So to start, we received the moon. This is not surprising to me because Area 51 is very mysterious. Um, it's left in the dark. Um, it's kind of like the information that comes out of Area 51 is on a need-to-know basis. Um, so yeah, it makes sense that the moon would be like the main energy around Area 51. And we also have the Magician and the Empress. So I see there's definitely something being created there for sure. But at the same time with the Magician card, things can get a little tricky sometimes. Because the Magician is not only someone who knows how to create what they want, but they 
The magician is also known as the trickster. So can easily kind of fool people or cover up things that maybe they don't want people to see. All right. Where should we go from there? I'm now going to do three of the deviant tarot. I'm first going to give them a few shuffles. I'm going to kind of see what can be added to the energy pulled from those first three cards regarding Area 51. Alright, so starting with the Knight of Wands energy here. The first thing I noticed in the image was the big moon in the background. Um, being that this is the Deviant Tarot deck, the images are quite different from the Rider Waite deck. Um, and if you can notice here, he the it's almost as if some type of insect is riding on the back of another type of insect, okay? And he's holding the wand. So it's the Knight of Wands. I feel like a lot of weirdness is charging forth just by looking at this image. It's almost like they're aliens, right? <laughs> Funny that we're doing Area 51. That's probably why I think they look like aliens. Um, but along with that, we got the Ten of Wands. So it's like a heavy burden being carried, but there's also a moon in the background on this one as well. So the heavy burden could have to do with the immense secrecy that is clouding this place. Finally, we got the six of swords to go with that. And wow, I just, I never noticed this in the image, but it's as though this little balloon ship is flying away from this island that is on fire <laughs> and it's heading towards another island that really doesn't have a lot of growth, if you can see it over here in the corner. This side has the fire. This side has a desolate looking um, landscape. So, I just feel like a lot of what is expressed regarding Area 51 is to avoid disaster, if you know what I mean. So, let's just see where we can go from there. All right, so about Area 51, what we really want to know is what's actually going on in Area 51 regarding aliens and UFOs. So we're really asking to connect with the energy of Area 51 to find out, are there UFOs and aliens present in within the Area 51? Are there aliens or UFOs present within Area 51. <sighs> Secret space program. Okay. All right, so we also got distraction and cleanup. Interesting. All right. Um, we got this underwater card, which is interesting because I know it's in the middle of the desert. But a part of me is like, I wonder if they're doing something with water. And then sure enough, we get this card. Because, you know, as I was preparing for this, a part of me was kind of wondering, is there something to do with water there? So we'll see what else comes up in regards to that as well. We also got grandparent and life insurance. I really do feel like um, what this is really saying is... Honestly, Area 51, 
was kind of like established in the time of our grandparents, if you know what I mean. And then with the life insurance, I think at first this was formed as a way to maintain security, like a life insurance policy would, to maintain security, possibly for money, funding, grants, <clears throat> things of that nature. Let's see what else comes out. What can you, what can we find out about Area 51? That was way too many. All right. We want to find out about Area 51. Ooh. Okay. We got mental health, road, and work. Hmm. Very interesting. What can we put with the mental health, road, and work cards? Do you have any other messages? This is throwing me for a loop. We got these two cards, Democrat and Affair. We also got Couple. This is going a different direction than I thought. Okay. What about this Democrat affair and couple? In regards to Area 51. Whoa! All right, I'm going to pick a different deck. Kind of butterfingers with this deck right now. Let's get clarity on this side here with the mental health, the road, the work. We got affair, Democrat, and couple. All right. I think um, with this card next to the affair card and with the couple card, I think it's just... It's really saying that um, the truth is not coming out. Similar to like an affair. Similar to the Democrats shown on this picture. Where they can look you straight in the eye and say the wrong thing. Say a lie. Um, that could have something to do with that. Okay. What about the mental health card? What else can we find out about the mental health card in regards to Area 51? mental health. So when I'm asking about mental health, we got waves. It says emotions coming and going. All right. So I feel like the mental health card has a lot to do with probably the people who are working within this area. I don't know if they're working something to do with mental health. Um, we also got interview, talk, conversation, get on the same page. Along with that. All right, what can you tell us about Area 51? Something's up with these love affair cards. I really need to get more information on that. But we also got the lockdown, mental, prison, confined. 
And this goes with the secrecy as well as the mental health card. Um, so this is very interesting. And I'm thinking that this love affair, like I said, with the Democrat and the affair card, it could really have a lot more to do with what it says at the bottom. It says, dirty little secret down low. So this is something that is definitely kept very, very hush, hush, Area 51. Um, so much so that we're getting all of these cards about affairs, but maybe there is someone with an affair um, involved with Area 51 as well, but I know nothing about that. Obviously, if you guys, as usual, if you notice anything in these cards that I'm missing, go ahead and put it in the comment section down below and we'll have a discussion about it. Okay, so tell us about Area 51. Okay, we got the Ascension, Spiritual Path, Awakening. We got that with this one, the Pressure Cooker. That one says, Rage, Ready to Explode. Hmm. Okay, so what information can we find out more about this Democrat affair, couple, and love affair card? Okay, so yeah, I feel like there is not, basically, like I was thinking when those cards came out, I'm being uh, given confirmation here, because we got the Eight of Wands reversed, and we got the King and Queen of Wands also reversed. Those are the three that came out. So this information is not being communicated at all, or if it is, it's trickling very um, slowly. And by information, I just mean what is going on in Area 51. So, like I said before, it's on a need-to-know basis. It's very secretive. Um, it's something that, similar to a love affair, similar to the certain president shown on this card, um, the truth isn't going to come out, not even when asked directly about it. All right? That's what I see here. Okay, so what's really going on? What is really going on in Area 51? <sighs> okay, shady stuff. We got Reptilian. And we got Faked Death and Blackmail. Again, these are literally just more cards proving that it's all about money, funding, um, and it's all about keeping it very hush-hush and secret. Um, like you would if you were blackmailing someone or if you're faking a death, for instance. So what's really going on in Area 51? Okay. Interesting. Wow. Okay, so here's what's happening so far. We got the outside card. Because we're all outside of Area 51. We are all outsiders. Even those who have to travel to work. Even the road to get to work is not paved. Um, so... I believe it's actually very difficult to get into this Area 51. So, we got the Outsider card. We also got um, Travel. 
I think that a lot of people travel here uh, for one reason or another, most likely for working, whatever they're working, maybe having meetings, interviews, that kind of thing. Now, we also got a couple of different cards, because remember, as I was shuffling, I said, what's really going on at Area 51? So we got this one. It says, Operation Mockingbird, government-controlled media. And we got trafficking and perversion. All right, and we also got burial. I mean, it is the middle of the desert. They could be doing literally anything. But with the perversion and the trafficking, I'm definitely seeing that, um, yes, people definitely travel here from all around. And... Um, I'm feeling like it could be for nefarious purposes. Very nefarious purposes. And it will always be covered up because the government is controlling our media. So therefore, we'll never really have all of the answers about Area 51. For instance, whatever it is they're working on right now, it will not be declassified again for years, decades before we find out what exactly they're doing there right now. So what's really going on in Area 51? What's really going on in Area 51? Any others? Ooh. What's going on? This one was Deep State. It's like secrets, more secrets. Um, oh, wow. We got the military card. We got the evil card. Oh, is that the right way? No. Evil. Military. Mountains. I believe there are mountains nearby. Um, the site. So... All right, so mountains, evil, and deep state. Intergalactic travel. Um, remember, we also got this card earlier, too. What's really going, in, going on inside of Area 51? Uh -oh. Any other messages? Okay. <laughs> we already have the Democrat card. Now we have the Republican card. This definitely has to do with politicians, for sure. Politicians and their secrets. Um. Then we got tunnel. I had a feeling that there were probably like secret tunnels, underground passageways, probably a bunch of like bunkers, underground things already established in this area. We also got secret society. We also got sad. Um, I think that the sad card <clears throat> comes as an effect of certain things taking place there, you know? Evil stuff. Um, that's probably why the sad card is showing up. The tunnel and the mountains, wow, that's just interesting to me. I do feel as though, like, this is something I was feeling before doing this reading, was that there were probably underground tunnels there was probably something to do with water, even though it's in the middle of the desert. Strangely, I just had this feeling there's something with water. All right. Let's see if this deck has anything else for us. What's really going on in Area 51?
We got the Chaser, Hot Pursuit, Bounty Hunter. Um, right away with that card, the image I'm receiving is like those aircrafts that they're building, stuff like that. Um, it's basically to keep up with the military of other militaries around the world, possibly even, you know, outside of our world, but more like in our solar system. But in general, I think we got this one just basically they are trying in some way. It's true. They are obviously um, testing and creating weapons and vehicles for the military to use. But. With, like, all of these other cards, I'm just feeling like, uh, with all these other cards that are also coming up, I just feel like there's more to Area 51 than simple, you know, oh, it's military operations. No big deal, you little outsiders. Stay out of here. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think for sure there's a lot going on at Area 51 because this reading has gone in so many directions. And the love affair card. Interesting, too. Okay, well, these two, definitely, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's like... We got Entrapment along with the Reminiscing card. So, I feel like through, like, some kind of act of Entrapment, um, that's how they're able to keep people quiet about talking about what's actually going on within Area 51. Another card that we received already um, that is kind of like confirming that is the blackmail and fake death. They can make you disappear if they must. <laughs> so to speak. Okay. This is very interesting. I think we're about done, but let's see if there's any other cards that want to come out regarding Area 51. government we already know the government's involved with area 51 it is government land military land there's a struggle though maybe there's a struggle within the government for control over area 51 or control of the secrets of area 51 that is possible Um, yeah, that's definitely possible. Some kind of struggle within the government. What's going on in the area 51? Oh. Power. The struggle is over power. For sure. Mm -hmm. You guys. We got these three last cards here, okay? Abuse Neglect, which also came out with Pizza Gate, which also came out with Man Made Disaster. Okay. 
I think I've heard everything I need to hear. It's basically exactly what I thought it was going to be. Definitely, you know, the military and government involved here, of course. That, I mean, there was really no question there with the government being involved. But there is a power struggle within the government regarding Area 51 or the secrets within Area 51, okay? Now, we got the Mountains and Tunnel card. There are definitely tunnels and underground bunkers, underground things built, okay? Definitely underground stuff. Something is happening with water. I just don't know what. Maybe underground water. Maybe the tunnels from Area 51 actually lead all the way over to the ocean. I don't know. All right, so we got the intergalactic travel. Uh, we got the secret space program card. Remember? And so we, we do have this part. I think Area 51, there is some aspect of like UFOs, whatever the case may be, whether it's like um, investigating UFOs that have already like landed here or whether it's trying to come up with new ways to, you know, travel throughout our own solar system or throughout the universe. So there is that space element involved, but there are... With the decks that I've used, there are definitely cards about aliens in there, and none of those came out. None of them. So I really think that the creepiest thing happening at Area 51 has a lot to do with the people involved. Okay. And they're doing other weird things that we just don't know about and we'll never really know about, right? Right? Okay. Why will we never know? Hmm. Well, there's a power struggle within the government, first of all. That's some stuff they don't want us to know about, okay? It's very reptilian. Cold-blooded. Very cold-blooded. All right, so... We'll never really know the full answers because of the government-controlled media and basically all of the secrets just surrounding this place and the money, the funding, and, you know, with the grandparent card, remember, this has been, um, Area 51 has been around for a while, generations now. So, it's definitely a large entity, so to speak. I think it's interesting, too, that we get all these love affair, love affair couple, you know, dirty little secret. I find it interesting that we got all these. I think that was all of them. Yeah. Blackmail. I think it's just a place where um, powerful people, Democrat and Republican, go when they want to be secretive, you know? When they want to be secretive. In the most horrible ways, of course, including, you know, okay. So, in the end, after reading all these cards, I think it's pretty clear that area. 51 serves a multitude of purposes, and all of those purposes 
definitely have to do with the very first card that was pulled, the moon. This is the shadow. This is the archetype of what is, um, uh, what people would desire to keep hidden, okay? So, I feel like, I don't, I don't believe that there's a lot of alien activity other than the people working within our own government and military who are just deviants. They're perverse. Um, because it looks to me like not only does Area 51 house military weapons um, and vehicles, I think it's more about housing secrets than it is about anything else. So, I would like to know your guys' thoughts about this reading on Area 51. So, be sure to put your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you're interested in these location tarot readings, be sure to click the like button. That helps out so much. And I can't wait to see what you guys have to say about this. Um, but I definitely think there's a lot going on in Area 51. All of it is very mysterious. And I don't think that it has much to do with aliens. I think that the aliens that are all around the area... I almost feel like they're letting us perpetuate this lie that it's all about aliens and UFOs because it's a, we got that card, it's a distraction. It's easy for us to just assume that the worst thing going on there is that a UFO crash landed and now we're stealing the technology from that vehicle. There's so much worse that could be going on in secret locations such as Area 51. So... It's almost like a blessing that we all just think it's all about space and aliens when these are the only cards that we received in this whole reading regarding aliens. The rest of the shadowy work that's done at Area 51 has nothing to do with aliens or UFOs, and it has everything to do with um, mysterious people in places of power who need um, who need a place that they can do their questionable things, if you know what I mean. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And I think that's pretty much it for today's reading about Area 51. I was really expecting a lot more about aliens than I was about love affairs and Pizzagate and trafficking and all of those horrible things, but it seems that is the hand we were dealt with Area 51. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that reading and I'll see you next time. Bye.